Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. So today I am back with another chill unboxing video, but this chill unboxing video is a bit of a special one because it is actually my first sponsored chill unboxing video. Uh, if you have watched my channel for a while now, you would know that I have been sponsored by Bai in the past, and they actually offered to sponsor one of my chill unboxing videos. So I picked up a few things from Bai that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys here today. So I have a figure in this haul that I'm like beyond excited about. It's a figure that I've really, really wanted for a while. Uh, and then I also have kind of a different item to unbox for you guys, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, this, this whole video, I'll give you a little hint that'll maybe clue you into the second item, but it's also a little bit related to the first item. Uh, this video is actually kind of like a music themed haul a music theme chill unboxing, so both my items are related to music. So I feel like that's really fun. And I did mention in my Q&A recently that I listen to a ton of music and that is very true. So I might be able to give kind of like, I don't know, give my opinions on some music a little bit more than I did in my Q&A video in this video. So I'm really excited about this. Thank you so much to Bai for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Bai is, it is a proxy service that allows you to shop at a bunch of different Japanese shops. So the shops that I purchased my items from were Yahoo Japan Auctions and Mercari. So both of these items are actually secondhand and I was able to get some really nice deals on them through Bai. So thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video. Let's open up the box. Uh, so this is the box here. It is pretty big, I would say, um, for the two items that I got. Now, one really nice thing about Bai is if you are Canadian like me, the only option we currently have to Canada is FedEx or DHL. And I found Bai to be a really good price. Um, you can pick there like Bai Air Delivery, that's the option that we have available to us. And I think it's either DHL or FedEx, like it, they just pick, but it's based on weight, I believe. So it's cheaper than Omiyomi, which seems to be based on weight and size. So I was able to ship this pretty big box. I would say a little bit bigger than the typical like 6,900 yen boxes from Omiyomi for DHL, this is a bit bigger than that. And this was, I think, around 3,500 yen to ship. So really good price for shipping, I would say, for DHL. Uh, oh, and it was DHL, not FedEx. They picked DHL for me. So. The box came very nicely packaged. Really nicely packaged, actually. This is a pain to try and open. Well, at least we know the box would not have been going anywhere if uh, they had been rough with it <laughs> in uh, shipping. Mm. Easy. Okay, so I didn't get any extra like packing on on uh, on Bai. You can like request extra packaging. I did not do that, but I see that they still packed my box with a bunch of uh, these like, cool, they're really staticky. A bunch of these like air fillers, which I think is really, really nice. A lot of them. Okay, so the first item I got from Yahoo Japan Auctions. my work area a little bit. So the first item I got from Yahoo Japan Auctions and it was a uh, figure that I found. So this is what I've been looking for for a while but it goes for quite a bit on the aftermarket. Um, so yeah. I did happen to get quite a deal on it though I would say. Wow. I'm so excited. It 
So I happened to pick up the Rin Kagamin, I believe, a uh, figure from uh, Stronger, or by Stronger. Uh, it is the Snowmiku Skytown figure. I did mention this one in one of my more recent videos, and I picked her up off of Yahoo Japan Auctions. I won her for 1900 yen, I believe, which is much better than her going price on a lot of sites, which is usually in the three to four hundred dollar range. So I was pretty excited to get her for 1900 yen. She was open box, but they had tons of pictures. Uh, I would recommend if you are looking for figures on Baii to make sure you kind of check out the seller. So the seller that was selling her started with an opening bid that was pretty low. I think it was about 8,000 yen. So I was kind of skeptical, but to decide whether or not if it was like real and I should bid on it, I checked, um, I checked on my figure collection and it said there were no fakes. So no bootlegs of this figure known. And in the description of the product, it said it was a genuine product. Um, the seller had, I think, three or four hundred good reviews, so I thought it was probably okay. Um, and their pictures were all like actual pictures of the figure, they weren't stock photos. So those would be like my main guidelines if you're buying off Yahoo Japan auctions. So first of all, the box is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't really talk about it because I'm just too excited to open up Rin, but the box is beautiful. Um, smaller than I expected, to be honest, but I know these are a 1 8th and they're a fairly small scale, so it's a really, really pretty box. It says Kagamin Rin on it, and it just has some pictures of the figure herself. So opening up the box, I think they actually retaped the blister, which is really nice. It seems like all of the like protective plastic is gone, um, but... is a-okay. I did actually get in a little bit of a bidding war for this one. Um, I had originally bid, by the time I decided to bid on her, she was up at about, she was up from 8,000 yen starting price to about 15,000 yen. And I was willing to go to, ooh, I was originally willing to go to like, maybe like 17k. And then we got into a little bit of a bidding war and I went up to 19, but I did win her in the end and I'm very, very excited. And thanks to Bai for sponsoring this video, I was able to get her, so it all worked out. So here is the very nice little base. Uh, there is actually a scratch on the bottom of this base, but it is fine. You can like barely even tell. Uh, the picture's like printed on the back of the glass, which is really neat. So that's very cool. I love that. And then in the box we have Rin. She looks perfect. She is quite tiny. Uh, I did know that going into this. These stronger figures are pretty small uh, in this set. So there's like a full set. I won't be collecting the whole set, I don't think, because they're just really expensive. But I did need Rin because she is my favorite Vocaloid. So yeah. Um, Give me some Rin song suggestions in the comments below. I'd love to listen to more of her because I love all of her songs. Um, personally, I like the uh, song Gimme Gimme. I really like uh, Ready Steady. That's a good one too. But there are tons. I've been recently been listening to Lavoratory, I think it's called, which I really like. That has, uh, I think Rin is like backing vocals in that one and it's super cute. Um, but yeah, there's so many good, like, Rin songs out there. She's definitely my, like, favorite Vocaloid, both in, like, voice sound and looks. I just think she's super adorable. Uh, and this figure is just stunning, I must say. So opening up the tree, it looks gorgeous. Uh, so we have this little, like, tree branch, and I think it just, like sticks into the base. I'm gonna look at a picture. I don't think the instructions were in here anymore, but it's fine. It's not a super complex figure to put together. Let's just say that. Okay, looks like it just goes on like this. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, the base on this figure is gorgeous. Oh, 
I almost had a heart attack there. <laughs> uh, bro. Wow, that was really lucky. Uh, wow, that was, that was actually terrifying. So we just put the branch on the base like so. And then there's like no picture of like the full tree on here, guys. Uh, okay. And then I think these branches just go in. There's two. There's this one, which I think, does it go on the top? I think it goes on the top like this. And then like a little one. Yeah. I really don't want to break this. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I hope that's good. And then there's just like a little cherry blossom branch that just sticks in right here. Easy peasy. So this is the completed base. It is beautiful. Oh, this figure, man. I think I may pick up the matching Hatsune Miku that goes with this. Now that I see this figure in real life, she's just stunning. And I think that Miku is necessary. So it seems like actually Rin maybe has like a magnet in her butt. Because there's just like this like circle on here. There's nowhere for her to... Dude, that's so cool. So she just magnetizes on. That's actually so cool. I believe there's also a magnet right here or something. So that if you get the... Len figure, he can like also go on the tree. I could be wrong though, but I think that's where he steps if you also get his fig, which is super, super cool. Um, but wow, that's really, really neat. <gasps> I'm, I'm obsessed, she looks so good. One of my favorite figures. I think I say that in like every video recently, like every single figure I've been picking up recently is just top tier one after another. When this video is done, I think I'm gonna go order Miku. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm kind of reeling this month. I've spent quite a bit of money, so maybe we won't. Maybe we'll wait on that one. But for now, we have the beautiful Rin. So, uh, the main reason I wanted to pick this figure up is because, uh, obviously Rin is my favorite Vocaloid, but also there really aren't that many good Rin scales, in my opinion. Um, there's a few, I'm not a huge fan of Rin's default outfit, like, it's cute, um, but I don't love it, so her figures in her default outfit kind of are meh to me, so... It was really nice to see kind of a different Rin figure, and I just think like her paint job and the tree and her pose are just so beautiful. And it's a very like unique figure. It's not, I have nothing like this in my collection. So yeah, I, uh, Stronger really killed it. She is quite small, she's a 1 8th. I would say she's a small 1 8th, um, but the paint job on her is beautiful. Her kimono, I don't think this is a kimono. I'm not sure what this outfit is called. Um, I wonder if it says on here anywhere. It doesn't look like it, but I'll Google it and put it on the screen somewhere. Uh, but the detail on it is beautiful, even if she is small. Like the paint just looks great. And I think the colors look really nice on her. And I believe this is Yukin. Is the bunny? And I think uh, it's a very cute little bunny. So yeah, I love that. And I think the tree is just beautiful and she's gonna look amazing on a shelf. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put her yet. I think I'll put her on my Miku shelf, but for now, we're just gonna admire the absolute beauty that is this figure. Uh, Cause she just looks amazing. And the tree is very nicely detailed as well. And the base is beautiful as well. So anyway. I'm extremely happy with this figure. I'm very pleased. She looks great. So up next, we have a little bit of a different item here. So it's a bit of an odd shape. I don't know if you guys can guess, but I did say this video was music themed. So let's open up this box. Uh, this is something that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, an item that I think... I... This is an item that is very, like, special to me, I think, that I picked up. So this is an item I picked up off Mercari, which is another uh, secondhand site, but it's not, like, a bidding site, so it's not, like, Yahoo Japan Auctions. I just bought this item, like, 
outright on Mercari. So I got this for 4,900 yen, uh, but I had a 3,000 yen off coupon for Mercari. Uh, I think they're just running like a promotion at the time that I ordered this. I'm not sure if the promotion is still running now, but I got a 3,000 yen off coupon for Mercari, which is awesome. And uh, even if that is not running any longer, you can actually click the link down below in my description and you can get 2,000 yen off your first order with Bai if you sign up at that link. So uh, even if the Mercari deal that I got on this is no longer available, you can still get 2,000 yen off your first purchase. But this item, which I ended up getting for 1900 yen because of that coupon is a vinyl so they packaged it up really nice in this like little bag and inside we have a new metaphorical music record by Nujabes so Nujabes is a very interesting um, artist an artist that I find to be a very like influential artist. Um, Nujabes was one of the artists behind composing the music for Samurai Champloo, my all-time favorite anime. And he is often credited with being kind of one of the the fathers of like lo-fi and like chill hip hop, uh, and, like trip hop, kind of that like chill hip hop uh, beats and vibe. And this, I believe, was the first album that Nujabe has put out. I don't believe this is the first, like, press of the vinyl, but I think it's a re-release. I have uh, actually no idea. Uh, but this is by Hideout, Re Hideout Productions, I guess. Is They're the ones that did this press. And, um, yeah, I just think this record looks freaking amazing. Um, Nujabe has actually passed away in, uh, I think, 2010 in a car accident, I believe. So it is quite sad um, that somebody so influential to a lot of artists and to the like lo-fi and hip-hop scene, um, it's very sad that they had such a tragic passing, but they did leave a lot of great music for us to listen to. And uh, I think Samurai Champloo will always have that legacy of just having some of not some of, I think the best music in any anime ever. Um, and I'm just very excited to own a piece of Nujabe's work. So uh, this is the vinyl once I've taken it out of the plastic. Uh, it's brand new. The cardstock that it's like made of for the, the cover is beautiful. And the artwork on it is like this like watercolor kind of trippy look. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the back just has the songs that are on the album. Uh, every song is amazing. I've listened to this obviously before on like, streaming services and stuff, but I really wanted to add it to my vinyl collection. So um, inside it is a gatefold. So we have some Japanese that I cannot read. Uh, maybe I'll look up a translation um, or just keep practicing my Japanese until I can read it. Um, and it's signed right there. Well, not actually signed, but just, I think, printed on. But the, I think that's actually so beautiful. And yeah, it just has the, uh, the songs once again. So I believe it's two. Yeah, it's a two record LP. So I guess let's actually take out the first, uh, first record. Uh, it is just a black. They're kind of stuck in there. Uh, they're just black. But that is beautiful. Uh, this is side A. So I'm not sure if I can play this in the video uh, because I don't really want to get copyright struck, but I'll give it a play like on my own and let you guys know how it sounds and everything. All right, everyone, editing Gwen here to tell you my thoughts on the metaphorical music vinyl. 
Uh, it sounds amazing. There are absolutely no skips or any issues with it whatsoever. The press is absolutely silent and every song sounds amazing. Um, I think my personal favorite is definitely Letter from Yokosuka, but uh, for songs with the lyrics themselves, I really, really love uh, Blessing It. <laughs> it just is such a, such a vibe. I really love that song. So I am absolutely thrilled. And this is definitely my most listened to album ever since I got it. I just like have had it on repeat. Every side is good. There is not a bad song on this album. So if you are thinking of picking up a new Jabe's album, I would highly recommend Metaphorical Music. It's just, it's just so good. Um, yeah, I can't get over it. It's so good. And the vinyl and the, the gatefold packaging and everything is just absolutely stunning. So please buy this. <laughs> if you can, do it. You will not regret it. I think now with music being so um, easy to listen to, which is great, um, and we're able to listen to so many different artists through streaming services and stuff, uh, we kind of almost lose that treasuring of physical music and like having one album and playing the whole thing through. And I think like there's been such a resurgence in people buying vinyl over the past few years, in the past few decades, honestly, um, because people just want to appreciate music and appreciate these albums like front to back without being so picky about what we put on our playlists and what we stream. I don't know if that's just me. Um, I mean, obviously I love streaming music. I listen to a ton of music, so it'd be boring if I had to listen to the same stuff all the time. But I think it is really nice to kind of almost acknowledge an artist's full body of work by having their albums. And CDs are great, but I think like having a vinyl that like is harder to skip songs. I mean, you can skip songs pretty easily, but it takes effort to skip the songs, if that makes sense. So it's like, you just, you listen to their albums from front to back and you just enjoy the music. And I think that gets a little bit lost nowadays on streaming services sometimes. Um, but I don't know, maybe I just sound like a pretentious, like, like hip music listener. Ooh, I got my vinyls, bleh. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, that's just kind of how I feel about it. Um, these are kind of hard to put in. The one corner is a little bit bent on the, the cover, so it's really tricky to get these back in. So I'm probably not going to take out the other one to show you guys. It looks the same. Uh, I've already seen pictures of it online. I knew what I was buying when I got this, so... Dude, it's actually impossible to get this back in. Okay, there we go. It's not even still quite back in. Bro. Don't worry about it. But, yeah, I'm very, very excited to have this in my collection! Um... I, now I need to get Nujabe's other album. It's called Modal Soul, I believe. Uh, that is on my list next. But if you are looking for like more rare Japanese vinyl, uh, Mercari and Yahoo Japan auctions are amazing to find it. Like shipping was also quite reasonable. I think I consolidated these two, so I paid uh, I paid five hundred yen to like combine these two into one shipment. But on its own, I believe this record was two thousand yen. To ship to me dhl or fedex whatever like the buy air delivery so that's actually pretty good i've been burned a few times recently since i started collecting vinyl uh shipping can be very expensive for like even a single vinyl so um i didn't think that 2000 yen for a vinyl was too bad of a price to pay especially when you can get actually quite a good deal on the vinyl itself um, there are other places you can buy vinyl, like Discogs and stuff, but if you are looking for Japanese stuff, uh, Yahoo Japan Auctions and Mercari seem to be like a really, really good place to find older Japanese albums. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye out there. Uh, they had quite a few of these on there when I was looking, so you can definitely still find this album on Baiyi if you are looking for it. All right, so that is today's chill unboxing, a very... Um, musical unboxing. I cannot wait to play this record. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I just, I love music, guys. Like, I just, ah, I'm so excited. So, uh, thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video and helping me purchase all of these items. I think that today's haul was pretty good and Bai is a dangerous place. Let's just say that you'll probably be seeing 
many more uh, items coming from there because <sighs> what can I say? We like to shop here on Gwen Collects. So I hope you all have a very wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching me and watching this chill unboxing today. I hope to see you next time. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.